Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nimisha and this is going to be my first video, um, my first ever review of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is in the shade Toffee Taken. Now why I decided to do this video was because I have been going through a lot of YouTube videos before like finding my shade and I did not really find a lot of videos on this particular shade in the Indian skin tone. For reference, I'm a MAC NC45 in Bobbi Brown's Fresh Nude Foundation. I'm in the shade Golden. And in the Maybelline Fit Me New York Matte Polis Foundation, I'm in the shade uh, 330, that is Toffee. So, I actually went through this website called foundation.com and over there I listed all of these foundations and I was recommended this as my perfect match. So foundation.com is a website to find your foundation shade if you already know of your previous foundation shades. So uh, I just got this like an hour back and I already like, um, as you can see, I moisturized my face and these days I've been having quite um, some breakouts. As you can see here, there's a huge pimple here and there are some breakouts on my forehead and all across my face. So, starting with this um, packaging, it comes in a glass bottle. Now, I haven't really traveled with it, so I don't know how exactly it is. Yeah, one thing that I found um, unique about this foundation is that it comes with a kind of a spatula, you know, like this. And... So this spatula can be a hygiene problem if you're using it on others, but like, well, I'm only going to use it on myself, so not really uh, as much of an issue. I actually got this from Nykaa.com. However, when I saw its packaging, it shows that it's from HawkMakeup.com. And when I checked out the prices on HawkMakeup.com, um, they actually have this foundation 50% off so like I don't know why Nykaa is selling this at this price when you're already getting it from another website which is selling it at a cheaper price. Uh, well yeah so I think the next time I'm going to buy this I'll directly buy this from this website rather than going to Nykaa and like shelling out extra. So this retails for 5.99 rupees and the main problem, the major issue that I had with this foundation was the shade range. Uh, the shade range is either too light or too dark. Like there are shades like caramel which are not yet there on Nykaa. So yeah, that's why I had to go for toffee. Uh, Alright, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to swatch this foundation on my face. And using my, where is it? Yeah using this beauty blender. I'm going to blend it out and show you how exactly this color looks on my skin tone. So this foundation is a photo focus foundation and it claims to um, prevent flashback on a camera. So yes, it is true that whenever you apply a foundation, especially those with SPF, you generally tend to get a whitish cast on your face, which looks pathetic. Uh, before I also swatch this foundation, let me also tell you that foundations are not meant to lighten your complexion or whiten your complexion because I've seen a lot of people buying shades lighter than what their skin tone actually is. So that's not what a foundation is meant for. It's meant to even out your skin tone and conceal blemishes and scars and... Honestly, you should really love your skin and I'm glad that foundations these days are coming out with, um, you know, shades that match all skin tones. Another thing that I loved about this foundation was that it is cruelty free. Now, I'm really particular about any cosmetic that I use, um, that it should be cruelty free. So, I usually use herbal products and most of the cosmetic that I use, I make sure that it's vegan and it's cruelty free. I mean, our makeup and our beauty should not be harsh on anyone else, right? So, all right, I'll just come closer to the camera and I'll swatch this. It's 
for you. Here is the shade and okay it matches me perfectly. I'm just going to apply a little bit and then blend it out. Okay, yeah, here's my beauty blender. So yes, I'm going to mm. Okay, this is really good. Um it smells um quite weird to be honest. Not exactly like paint also, you know, like paint has a different smell. This smells more like, I don't know, like mixed nail polish remover and paint and here you have the smell. So I just applied a very less layer and even then it has given me like a, if you can see, it's quite a good coverage medium coverage i would say for a foundation this shape is really good let me just apply it all over my face and then let's see how it is i also apply a little bit more here Lie on my neck later, but first this okay your hair. Really just find a hairband before applying this foundation because it just gets on your hair like Oh, some of it is on my eyebrows. Usually the beauty blender soaks up your foundation so instead of applying like a, another layer all to the neck what I do is that I just um, you know apply the beauty blender all across my neck so that's what I'm doing. Cool. So, as you can see, let me just come right into the camera for you guys. I'm sorry if it's a little weird, but um, it is definitely a very nice buildable foundation, medium to full. Hasn't really, like, obviously a pimple won't really go, but the finish that it's giving to me, maybe it's not visible in the camera. But the finish that I'm getting is actually really good. I'm, I'm loving this actually. It isn't really exactly matte. It isn't like... It gives you quite a natural, natural finish. So I'm actually liking this. It is a very nice natural finish. You can see my forehead. Really good. My cheeks. Yep. Yeah, I really like this. Let's see if it can also act as a concealer under my eyes. So I'll apply a little bit of it under my eyes, just a little bit, to see if it can conceal. Oops, that's a little too much. Yeah. So. Okay, wait. Oh, 
perfectly, yes. All right, so more often than not, what happens is that the makeup products that I see online or on YouTube are really like costly. I mean, I'm a college going student. So for me, I like, I don't know, like buying a foundation, then a concealer, then a contouring stick and like whatnot. So many products. It's just too much on me. But this foundation does the work of a foundation and a concealer like really perfectly so i'm really happy about this and honestly like yes it it is a little yellow on my skin tone i mean i would have liked if there were more neutral shades like there are there in the wet and wild shade but not yet on nika so that would have been good but i think i'll even it out with the rest of my makeup and this would work i think even like this i can really go if i just like all i need is a little bit of contouring and yeah i think i'm good to go so yeah that's the review for the toffee pecan foundation the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade toffee pecan and i hope that if you are of my shade this foundation has helped you this watching has helped you and um, since this is my first video I don't really know how this goes but drop down your comments below and let me know how it is and if you want me to review something else I'll be happy to do that so yeah also one more thing please do not forget to clean your beauty blender after like every use like it's just unhygienic to keep on using the same beauty blender without cleansing it It'll just take like two minutes, just wash it under warm water and just squeeze out the excess that's been absorbed. And yeah, you're good to go. Cool. All right, guys. Bye-bye.